Do you remember that time I watched that cartoon with masturbating bugs? <laughs> Clearly Sparkplug Entertainment didn't think they did us enough of a favor by making a sexual parody of a bug's life. They decided to go out and rip off Disney and Pixar's cars. You know, because I really pine away for animated cars talking a whole lot of sexual innuendo. Hey, you dollface. Nice headlights. Oh, hi. Thanks, I guess. Because at this point, all I can hope for is that I don't see one car deep-throating another car's exhaust pipe. Wait, isn't that how they opened up Spider's Web of Pig's Tail? Wow, I've never seen self-plagiarism in action before! Are you remaking Bug Bites? So all you're doing is copy and pasting your stories with new assets. Well, I guess it's better than what Dingo does. Sparky, don't you dare! Whoa! Oh. I damn near died! Cool! I wish I could be... Sparky, stop. This is not a musical. No, it's a gulag! Oh my god! A funny line! Well, I guess a blinking VCR is right twice a day. The world is a wonderful place, but it can be dangerous. Yeah. You could die of boredom out here. Sparky car, slow down. There's a name that took five seconds and two tons of coke to make up. Stop playing around. I am not a fan of Dad's mechanical delivery. Hey, look, I'm trying my best here not to make fun of Kareen Orr. She's a national treasure. The only thing I really hope out of all this is that her boyfriend Speed Racer doesn't know what she's been up to. So, in this universe, you can get harassed by the police for running too fast. What if they get drunk? Why in the hell am I analyzing this shit? I'll let you off with a warning this time, but be careful. Yes, sir. Be careful. I usually am. Alright, now I really have a question. So, if you really fuck up, can they tow you away in your sleep? A hundred bucks! This ticket is your fault, and you're paying for it. Not the whole thing, I'll pay half. <laughs> Fine. My father would have kicked my ass up to my shoulders! What kind of parenting is this? Huh. Piston was wise. Hey, he's right up the road. Let's pay him a visit. Fine, can we go a little faster? Can you maybe move your radiator lips and impersonate animation? Please? What does R.I.P. mean again? Rest in peace. Well, this is awkward. Where's the rest of Piston? <sighs> this hubcap is all they found. Is this about to become a horror story? Piston's girlfriend, Diesel. I never figured out what your cousin saw in that old bucket of bolts. Uh-oh, it's getting late. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning! Ugh. I already hate the pink car! Good morning, Gracie. Good morning. Good morning, Gracie. Good morning, Sparky. You're so funny. Good morning, Gracie. <laughs> Why is a child voice actor the best in the bunch? Gracie, stop encouraging your brother. Why can't you be serious like Julia? Good morning. Sparky's becoming more responsible. Yeah, think so? Sparky! When are you gonna grow up? Hoses, hoses, hoses. hoses Sparky! Hoses. Shut the fuck up! <gasps> Daddy hoses! Shut the fuck up! No, Daddy almost said. Shut the fuck up! It's going to rain! <laughs> <laughs>
Sparky, it's not gonna rain. Now get in there. Child abuse. Is this shit really happening? This makes an ant's life look tolerable. Diesel, wasn't your license revoked? <laughs> so sue me. <laughs> You're smoking. A smoking Jeep, you know, for kids. If Sparky goes down the wrong path, I can't even think about it. Rust in peace. Doesn't mean that car doesn't have feelings! Speedy, we're not talking about you. So were these two separated at birth? Uh, uh, uh. Huh, they must be filming the car's porno down the street. These nasty little things steal my gas and run off! Gas leeches. Gas leeches. Gas leeches! Oh. Gas leeches. Let me clean your windshield! Actually, hon, it's okay. I don't want to see the car equivalent of a hand job. <gasps> Speedy, that's not wiper fluid, that's motor oil! <gasps> Who put oh. that in here? <laughs> But you have eyeballs for headlights. That would be like if I soaked up my nipples, I automatically go blind. Down! Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> There's not enough liquor for this shit. Stop it. Get some help. Sounds cool, but my dad would go ballistic. So what? Life is short and cruel, Sparky. Remember, kids, smoking can rust your face off. I'll take that and that and that and oh, definitely that. Right on. Let's get started. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on. I didn't think the porn joke would be taken seriously. Sparky looks so cool. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Or at least Vin Diesel. Same difference. It hurts. They chip some paint and I'm rusting. Go ahead and yell. I want to yell. I'm furious. But we can't animate anger with our budget. I'll try. <laughs> hey, you're leaking oil. <coughs> Ham and pineapple. <coughs> And the barbecue sauce isn't helping. And you're grounded. But Dad! But what? Nothing. What did you expect? You got the car equivalent of piercings and tattoos. Did you honestly think your anal retentive father would approve? This hot rod doesn't look stupid. Lance Hot Rod, the movie star? Yeah, you look just like him. You mean this one? Your dad is so last century. You want to go to the movie, so go. These aren't the cars you're looking for. We're going full throttle, Molly. Let's set a new speed record. You can't say that in a kid's film. Ah! This reminds me of when I saw the Cumberbatch Grinch in theaters. Oh, fuck, the Alphabots have returned. So, is this like a metaphor about getting STDs at the drive-in? Who knew a car's life had better sex education than the entire state of Alabama? Sparky, where have you been? The drive-in. You went to the movies? You didn't watch Cars Life, did you? Sorry! Uh, now what? Sorry? You gave me a flat tire! Yep, pretty sure this is a movie about safe sex now. 
You know, the Badlands are just over those mountains. That's where they hold the annual Champions Cup race. And Lance Hot Rod spent weeks there shooting the film. So that big shot actor was just over the hills for filming for a number of weeks and he didn't even bother to come to your little shithole town? Well, fuck him! But it was a long time ago and there were a bunch of us. It doesn't sound very dangerous. The Badlands are treacherous, believe me. Just look at the concerned face I don't have. Calm down! It's the wrong size! Oh dear. Maybe if you didn't have a flat in the middle of the desert! You gave me the flat! And I said I thought! <sighs> Much better. I'm so sorry, sir. Allow me to change the tire for you. I need a new hardtop in my life. Go with Sparky to the Badlands. It's a great place to unwind. Is Sparky in a coma? You can't. <gasps> fire! Fire! I... 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 <coughs> what the actual fuck? You set a gas pump on fire? Are you fucking mental? And by the by, if that shit really happened, I imagine it would go something like this. You can't. <gasps> fire! Fire! I... 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 Uh... <coughs> oh, that's so unfair. Yeah! Poor Grace needs to get out more than anyone. No, Gracie, you're too young. Fine. I'll go somewhere else. It was at this point in the movie where I decided to get a little curious and look up who's doing this voice acting for this yellow car. Because it sounds really out of place. And when I looked it up, it turns out it was the director Michael Shelp's daughter, Gracie. It's kind of cute if you decide to put your little girl in a cartoon that you're making. That's fine. But... Did you really have to film her in the family garage? Like, do you hear the difference in sound quality? Jesus Christ, nepotism at its finest. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Well, stay in your lane and obey the speed limit. Didn't you ground his bumper, dipshit? Ah, sunny downtown bumfuck North Dakota. So this piece of shitty padding goes on for a minute. <gasps> the Champions Cup! This must be the finish line. Seriously, is Sparky on some downers? He looks stoned. And where to get it, I need some. Go, Sparky, go! <laughs> so this is where the animation budget went. Oh, fuck, not again. You're making the musical montages and Good Times films look like Disney classics. This is dangerous. My shocks are shot. You're about to snap a fan belt. What happens if we break down out here? You die and no one will be there to mourn you. That's what happens. Consequences? Bad decision? Now you sound like a dad. I've been there. Maybe a few more laps. I know it seems like I edited in gunshots at that point, but I didn't. That's actually in the movie. Norbert, you all right? <gasps> Sparky? Oh shit, nom flashbacks. Thank goodness you saw my flashing mirror. Yeah, why are you here? I'm contemplating the writing of John Paul Sartre. A boot! Speedy, get out of here! Fast! Go get my dad! Oh, fuck. Is this about to become Pulp Fiction? Diesel is up to no good. That's unfair! Why is the world so judgmental about free-thinking, quirky cars? Especially females! Speedy is the kind of character that would shit bricks for spraying motor oil all over the car that's murdering her. Release the gas leeches. <laughs> Hey, it's Toe Mater after they lobotomized his last three brain cells. Oh, yes, 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 yes! Oh, Diesel, we need help! I'm annoying, Diesel, then you are annoying! Ah! 
Back a couple times for me. It's a cruel, wretched place. No, it's not. It's big and wonderful and full of possibilities. You just have to be careful. You killed Piston? Oh, yeah. Your cousin and I came here for a picnic, but Igor cut it short. <laughs> I joke a lot about snuff films, but I never thought I'd actually be reviewing one! I sold him for scrap. Society frowns on that kind of thing, but whatever. So you can just sell body parts? This cartoon has taken one of the darkest turns I've ever seen. I like it. Why is he so special to get four eyeballs? Move away from the red sports car. This is your final warning. Why does the police car have a missile launcher? Speedy! Speedy? Huh? What? What? Damn! You giving Diesel a ticket for killing Piston and slicing Speedy? Nope, for driving without a license. I am so conflicted with that line. Should I be laughing or pissed? We have to stop fooling around. It's time to grow up. But I'm just a baby. Was this produced by David Dakota? <clears throat> Since you're coming clean. <sighs> wow. It's the car equivalent of a tribal tattoo. Hey, who wants to race to the highway? I do. Let's go. Well, there you go. More evidence to support my claim that Michael Shelp only cares about mentally scarring children. I mean, between the xenophobic horses in Spider's Web, the masturbating caterpillar and child murder in Bug Bites, and now this one showcasing car dismemberment. The only thing more disturbing I can think of is Janice the Little Piglet from Dingo Pictures, and that's just a jaunty walk through a slaughterhouse. There's something else I've noticed about this, and I mentioned it during the review. It seems like he's copy and pasting his stories with new assets. Like, there's the same tropes. It's like listening to a ZZ Top song. It's the same things over and over through a similar music structure. If I had him in any of my classes, I'd fail his ass for plagiarism. Good God. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta find the nearest cliff and drive off of it. Full fucking speed! <laughs> because, you know, I really need another cartoon of anim- Ugh. discovered that this was gracious.